In this video, we're going to complete example two. It says calculate the length of X in the diagram below. Now this is quite a complicated diagram. So sometimes it helps to split triangles up. I've, I've done that already. I've split this into two different triangles just to make my life a little easier. Now, when I look at these triangles, I notice straight away that there's really not enough information here. Uh, the triangle on the left has one angle and a side. The triangle at the right has one angle and a side as well. I really need at least two angles and a side for a right angle triangle. And for the other one on the right, because it's not right angled, I need at least either two sides and two angles or three sides and an angle. So I definitely need a lot more information in this triangle at the right. Now, that indicates to me that there's some information that I can find here. Uh, another angle maybe or another side. And I can see something already. I can figure out what this angle is. This angle has to be 115 degrees. Why is that? Well, 115 plus 65 gives me a total angle of 180 degrees. And we have a straight line here. So these two angles have to add up to 180 because of the straight line. Right. We'll transfer that information to the triangle below. This is 115 degrees. I can also find another angle. This angle up here in the corner, which is the same as this angle. I know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees as well. So what I'll do is I'll take the 115 degree angle and add it to the 43 degree angle, uh, which is going to give me 158 158 degrees. Now if I take 180 degrees and subtract 158 degrees, I'm going to get 22 degrees. So that's what the third angle has to be, such that the three angles will add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so I've got a lot more information here. Now I reckon I'm going to label this side with Y. I reckon if I can figure out what that side is, then I can figure out what X is. And the reason I've picked this side is it's the same as the side over here on the non-right angle triangle. All right, this is really useful because if I look at my non-right angle triangle, I have three angles and two sides. I actually only need two angles and two sides. I'm going to use the sign rule here. Um, and I need to, need to label this. Okay, so... I'm going to label this angle as capital A and this angle as capital B. Why did I do that? Well, look opposite those angles. Opposite capital B is lowercase b. Notice that lowercase b has a length of 5 meters. And opposite capital A is lowercase a and a matches up with the y. All right. I didn't worry about the 115 degree angle because there was no side opposite it. So I, it wasn't really useful to me. So I'll label it as capital C anyway, and this is lowercase c, but we know that this is going to get cancelled. We're not going to use that. So let's use our formula. A over sine capital A equals B over sine capital B. All right, now A is Y, and capital A is my angle 43 degrees. B is my 5 meter length, and capital B is my 22 degree angle. Now, I want to figure out why. So I've got to get rid of sine 43. I'm going to multiply by that, which is the opposite of what they were doing, which is dividing, right? And then I'm going to times the right side by sine 43 as well. This is going to cancel sine 43 so that I can find out what Y equals. Let's bring up our calculator. 5 divide sine 22 times sine 43 equals, and we get about 9.1. Now, we don't like to round yet. We haven't find, found the final solution, but we'll leave the solution in the calculator. So it's about 9.1. I'll, I'll write, I'll put little dots. That means it's approximately 9.1, not exact. And um, that's going to be in meters. So that means that Y at the left is 9.1 meters, approximately 9.1 meters. All right, so let's now focus on the triangle at left. 
This is a right angle triangle, which means we're going to use our Sokotoa method here. Uh, H, uh, sorry, Y is our hypotenuse. X is going to be our opposite and adjacent's down here. So we're not using adjacent, we're using opposite and hypotenuse. I'll write my acronym up the top. So, ka, toa. And because I'm using opposite and hypotenuse, I'm using SOH or sine in this case. All right. So sine of my angle, which is 65 degrees, equals, and then we do our vinculum bar. And if we look at the order of the SOH, O comes next, H comes last, which means that O, our opposite, goes at the top, X, H comes last, our hypotenuse, which is our 9.1 meters. All right, now if you have a number down the bottom, we really don't need to put meters in either, we slide it to the front, 9.1 times sine 65 degrees equals X, and I can use my calculator. All right. Now the good thing is, is it's not exactly 9.1. I've left my solution in the calculator, which is great because I don't. Rather than typing 9.1, I'm getting the actual number. We're going to times this by sine 65, which equals. And we get 8.249. Um, it it didn't tell us how many decimal places to do this to, so we're just going to pick one. I'm going to do two decimal places. I'm going to say 8.25 meters. X equals 8.25 meters and I'm going to say how I rounded it. I rounded it to two decimal places. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.